Congratulations are in order for Kyle Busch. He scored a preseason victory Tuesday night in the Busch Clash. His win kicked off the NASCAR Cup Series season that was held on the Daytona International Speedway road course for the first time. Now he has his eyes set on the one race he's yet to win in his illustrious career, the Daytona 500. I think it would just check the final box. It would uh, it would hit all the boxes that um, you know that that make a, a great what a great is, and, and anybody that's going to be in the Hall of Fame. It would just help solidify that, and it would turn. I guess uh, my stats and, and lineage into something just that much more remarkable that I've done it all, you know? So I'd love to be able to get that done and, and feel like there's been a lot of good chances uh, for me over the years uh, of being able to win that race, but it just, for whatever reason, hasn't quite all come together. I don't think so, no. I mean, the, the cars have kind of been the same since 2015, I think, and so the drafting aero package has kind of changed just a little bit here or there, a little bit of different spoiler, uh, a little bit different um, restrictor plate. Uh, every other year they kind of change that stuff around some. But, um, you know, this year I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I feel like last year we kind of got robbed. I was leading with 15 laps to go and was in prime position in order to win that thing, and, um, you know, we uh, engine blew up. So. Um, years before that, uh, Denny Hamlin and I were racing it out on the restarts and being one and two, and and it was all kind of dependent on who was behind who on the restart and what restart you got in order to who got ahead. And Denny ended up getting the better restart and got ahead right at the end, and he scored to win. You know, so uh, it's just a matter of being being lucky as well too, and um, and knowing when you get yourself in the right position at the right time. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, Ben Bishore is the new crew chief, and uh, I didn't want to lose Adam, but, um, you know, some changes were, were needed and, and made, and a uh, different kind of philosophy needed to be instilled in, in what everybody was doing at Joe Gibbs Racing as a whole, um, let alone the, the 18 team. So, obviously, with the things that we've had um, the last couple of years and the things that we've been able to accomplish with championships and such, uh, you know, Adam's a great crew chief and a great leader. Um, you know, with, with Ben coming on board, Ben was with us as our number one engineer through those uh, first four years of being together as, as driver crew chief with Adam. And so, um, you know, having Ben back with me is, is going to be good. I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, we talked a lot about over the off season what, uh, what things were good last year, what things weren't so good last year to try to improve on and make ourselves stronger and better and get ready for um, having some success. Yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like there's a lot of different things in, in every year that we always come that, that are different reasons to be excited for the new season. So obviously the Daytona 500 coming up on Fox is um, is the biggest race of the year, but there's a lot of storylines that are going to be told throughout the year uh, as well, too, with with Michael Jordan, Denny Hamlin's team and, um, you know, Pitbull being a part of track house racing and, of course, um, you know, all the all the things that have gone around uh, through from last year into this year with Chase Elliott being the champion and, and certainly all those things, too. So it'll be an interesting time to see what happens with the continuation of NASCAR success. And, um, you know, we as uh, as a sport felt like um, being the first ones back throughout the pandemic and being able to carry on our full season. And um, that was a huge task in itself. So kudos to NASCAR for being able to get all that accomplished. But um, we obviously hope that uh, soon we can return to normal, have all the fans that, that can come and uh, have our families come and everybody can be a part of all the action again. Man, I, I have no idea. I, I don't like to uh, self-promote or anything like that. So, you know, that's for debate, obviously, through, um, through the years of what I've been able to do and accomplish and uh, where people want to stack you up and, and relative to uh, the, the stiffness of the competition throughout your era and stuff like that. I feel like Jimmy obviously is one of the best of the best. I mean, if he's not the best, um, I don't know how he wouldn't be any higher than the guys that are already there. Um, you know, so obviously there's there's been, um, you know, a lot of great successful race car drivers over time. And, and hopefully I'm obviously on that list once I'm all said and done. 30 years after his Daytona 500 win, 62-year-old Derek Cope made headlines on Tuesday as he announced it would be his final cup start. He became the second oldest driver to compete, but age wasn't a factor for him. It's a life-changing moment, really. Uh, certainly, it's what you you know strive for you know uh, in the years prior to get to, and 
and then certainly to uh, you know to win the biggest thing that can happen to you in the sport. You know, at that point in time, you uh, off to see you know Letterman. You're t- toasting champagne in the Unical Suite, and then you know across the United States on a media tour uh, for NASCAR. So it elevates your notoriety extensively. And certainly at that point, um, you really couldn't walk through a an airport without uh, being recognized and. Uh, obviously uh, helped me become a stable fixture in the sport. Well, I think uh, certainly the opportunity just to, to go out and uh, you know perform with a competitive car is something that I'm, I'm relishing the opportunity with. So I think, you know, obviously being still competitive uh, that I am, you know, I, I honestly believe that I can go down and I have the capabilities. Uh, I, I feel like I understand the air. I understand what my needs are. That's the one thing that I've always been very proficient at is, is restricted play racing. A lot of it really is about absorbing the atmosphere and the things that uh, you know my wife hasn't really experienced with me before in this capacity. So it really is about her and I just experiencing this and enjoying it. I'm just looking forward to it. I think uh, you know it is your last hurrah, and uh, I love it. I always have. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to get started. Well, certainly this isn't really anything new. I think, you know, I've been in this sport a long time. You know, I mean, you had, you know, Burt Reynolds and Hal Needham. You know, I raced, you know, in, in the sport then, uh, with, you know, with them involved. And, uh, you know, then you had the Dan Marinos and you had uh, the Terry Bradshaw. And, you know, you had Troy Aikman and Roger Staubach. Uh, you've had a lot of, uh, you know, interesting you know individuals uh from other realms of sport uh be involved uh in some capacity or another so you know i think it, it really um it certainly is exciting and i think it's a, a, a dynamic that um, you want to continue to have and see i think the diversity of that you know i mean now we're talking floyd mayweather uh you know opportunities for people that you know i think bring something to the table from a business perspective uh maybe from a uh you know a promotional perspective i think a lot of it is about perspective and, and when you have an influx of people of different areas and different forms of business uh they bring new perspective they bring new relationships and this sport is so much about relationships and so i think it does nothing but good to have those guys involved and uh you know see what they can bring to the table and how that they maybe would look to change the way that uh you know the perception uh, of their race team will be uh be in a business form so yeah i think it's exciting times and i think we'll see more of it uh, the sport is in a good place right now i think monster did a great job uh you know in, in taking the thing to another level and nascar has been instrumental in in uh tapping into the areas that we need to do to be a better you know promotional uh program and i think uh, we're on a good path